I don't think this is going to work. Um, hey, real quick, guys, I wanted to ask you a question. For moms of toddlers, preschoolers, whatever, um, I'm having a lot of trouble getting Jack to brush his teeth. Um, he brushes his teeth at school. Are you all done? Yeah. He brushes his teeth at school. And I think that since they're going through, like, the line of kids, they're not... Oh, my God, I thought he was hurt. He's just happy about his balloon. Um, they're going through, the, like, you know, his whole class so fast that they're not, like, really scrubbing each tooth. And um, he puts up a really good fight, too. Like, it's... He's, like, screaming and crying. And um, I used to not press the issue when he was a little younger when he first started brushing his teeth. But now that he's... You know, he's already cut all his teeth, he's done teething, he is eating, you know, three meals a day and snacks. I'm just, like, laying, <laughs> laying the law down because, um, especially because he does not have dental insurance, or neither of us do right now, so it's like, uh, yeah, we, we gotta take care of this teeth, you know? Um, so he likes to, he liked the routine, I got some toothbrushes that he liked, I got, like, these Angry Birds toothbrushes, Here, I'll show you guys. Oh, goodness, we've got so much stuff in here. Alright, so I think this is, like, maybe... So he's got, like, these Angry Birds ones with little suction cups. He's got... He's got all kinds of different stuff in here, like this. and um, He's got different flavors of toothpaste. He's got, like, a Thomas toothpaste. It's just, like, a clear. It's, like, Orgel. Um, another baby Orgel that came with a different one. Then he's got one of those Tom's fluoride free. It's like he hates the taste of that one, so I think we'll wait till he's a little older to use it. Um, it's like it's not clear. It's like white. But recently, I figured, you know what? If we're gonna like have to hold him down and make him like properly brush each and every tooth and get like all the plaque off of it, then um, I need to get like an electronic toothbrush. So I got him this Thomas Spring brush, and he actually isn't scared of it, which I thought he would be. And he likes to push this button himself. He'll put it in his mouth. And he can actually get his molars really well. But his front teeth, um, they look really crusty. So the only thing that I'm able to really do is, like, I've got one of those, like, finger. It's like a silicone little finger. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's got, like, textured thing on the end. And I can kind of scrub it off manually that way. But I don't know. I still feel like um, I'm not doing as good of a job as this would with that. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions on how you get it to be an enjoyable, enjoyable experience, at least not a traumatic one, because I don't want him to, like, just hate brushing his teeth for the rest of his life, thinking, oh, yeah, that's when my mom hold, held me down and forced this, like, thing in his mouth. And, um, you know, I think probably his gums aren't very healthy because he's not doing a very good job either, so it might, it maybe hurts a little bit. I don't know. It's one of those things, like, I want to be, I want to be the peaceful parent, but it's like, you know, the hygiene comes first. So if you guys have any tips for me or, um, an idea of how long this phase lasts, that would be awesome. Um, I haven't really, like, thought of doing, like, a reward system. That kind of stuff doesn't really work with Jack. Um, never has. So, I know a lot of people, when they were telling me, like, uh potty training suggestions they said do a reward system and um, he never like responded to that and thankfully he just kind of initiated that part of the you know hygiene stuff and bathroom usage he did that all on his own so I didn't actually have to like force it too much but I don't know so anyways I've rambled long enough um and sorry if I sound funny I have a sinus infection and um I actually sound better now than I did like 15 minutes ago the steam from Jack's bath is like Loosening me up. You built a tower? So yeah, um, on an unrelated note to that, um, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and tonight Jack and I, we um, did all his Valentine's for his classmates, and it wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. I was like so excited to like finally like do it for his classic, but he's still really, really young, and he did not get the idea at all. He's like, He's like, okay, Valentine's for my friends, and he picked out, like, these exotic animal ones. I guess there's, like, a, there's a pet gecko in his class named George, and he really likes the gecko, so he picked out, like, lizards and spiders and stuff, and, um, I guess he's not understanding that he's gonna be giving these to somebody, so he was like, 
I'm like, oh, so there's a girl in his class, and I said, okay, so which one do you want for her? And so he thought all of them were for her, and so if I tried to say, like, we've got to do some for these other people, too, he's like, nope, they're all for her. So either he's got a huge crush already, uh, <laughs> or he just doesn't get it. So, um, yeah. What else? I don't know. I guess I don't really have anything else to say. Oh, yeah, I got a new iPhone, if you haven't noticed. Um, probably doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, I bought like an actual vlogging camera, but that I was using, it's like a Panasonic little handheld. It's like a flip kind of, but I've got to like plug that in, transfer files from my upstairs computer and then put them on a flash and bring them down to my Mac. And it's just a pain in the butt if I want to edit anything. And I can just, you know, I don't, even if I don't want to edit, it's just still a pain because I can just upload this wirelessly from my Wi-Fi, and it's just so much easier. So, um, yeah. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, yeah, so let me know how you like the quality of this video. I don't think it's probably too much different, and hopefully I don't have to get another iPhone for a really long time. But, um, yeah, so let me know about the toothbrush, toothbrushing thing, or whatever, um, or if, you know, obviously, if he's not going to brush his teeth well, I need to avoid, like, sugary foods even more than we already are. So, there's that. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And I'm kind of, like, stuck on what kind of videos to make anymore because I'm just don't have, like, a ton of time. So, if there's, like, a specific theme, like, vlog or something that you want to see, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys later. And... Have a happy Valentine's Day! Bye! <laughs> Jack, do you want to say bye? Hey, Jack? Jack? Alright, he doesn't want to. Alright, bye!